we had a, a fish camp in Taku. We were there every summer from May until September. The way we lived was a complete subsistence lifestyle. We brought a skip full of food, like canned goods and butter. We call them skips, they're actually pretty good, pretty good size boats. It just didn't have a cabin on it and brought those things in with us. Other than that, we just ate fish, deer, seal, porcupine. We harvested when the berries were ripe. Growing up on the Taku River, I have really vivid memories of taking the skip up to the waterfall to haul our water back because we didn't have any running water except for the two waterfalls. In Taku, we were subsistence living, which meant all of us, except for a baby, all had a duty. Gathering twigs, cones, you know, for fire starter. We all had to know how to chop wood. We had to know how to use a gun and knives and mend a net. What my parents did was they built um, a canvas tent. It was a wall tent. In the back was all bedding. It was just all laid out. And it's really cold on the Taku because of the winds that, that flow through. So we stayed cozy. We had kitchen area or cook area with a wood stove. Taku, Juan at one time had many houses, Shlinkit style longhouses. Ours was up beyond the Taku Lodge up on the cliffs. My grandmother took us to show us where all of the longhouses were. It wasn't just one, it wasn't just for a family. It was for, for the clan. We never did see an active village in Taku. Because at the turn of the century, Chief Nyatlahash brought the people to Juneau, specifically to Douglas Island. 